Shalom everybody and good afternoon. Greetings from Jerusalem Jane. I moved position so I'm filming from a different area in my apartments and that's because I wanted to show you this door because over here is actually my bedroom. I'm in a short time rental apartment in downtown Jerusalem and I'm sleeping in the bomb shelter. So the big door you see here behind me is this really thick big steel door and then there is another door uh, on the inside. Why am I showing you this? Well today my new blog was published on Jerusalem Post Christian World Edition. Several years ago I was blogging for Jerusalem Post. They asked me if I wanted to start doing that again. So today this new blog came out. I started by talking about those horrible 11 days last year where we were having more than 4,000 rockets coming into Israel and people were literally running for shelter in their bomb shelter. I was talking about that day when all of a sudden rockets were started flying uh, towards Jerusalem on Jerusalem Day, which really was traumatizing. Um, so you can read all about this in my new blog. I'm also talking about the famous Israeli spy Eli Cohen, who did an excellent job until he was captured in Syria. I'm talking about walking down the streets and all of a sudden I hear this beautiful voice singing and I'm looking up and it's a, it's a young soldier uh, just walking down the street singing. I'm talking about walking out on my balcony and seeing the beautiful Israeli flag blowing in the wind. I live here. I'm boots on the ground. I meet people I have encounters all, all the time. So I like to, to write about some of that in my blog and make them personal so that you get a little personal taste from Israel. So when I post this, I will share a link. This is my new blog on Jerusalem Post Christian World Edition. Of course, what makes really headlines was that on Shabbat, Israel's Prime Minister Naftali Bennett went on a plane to Moscow. It was the first time in his, a sitting Israeli Prime Minister was traveling abroad over Shabbat. He had a three-hour three, three hour meeting with uh, Vladimir Putin and from there he went straight to the Stiet and then he flew off to Germany where he had a dinner meeting with the German Chancellor Schulz. He spoke twice on the phone with the President of Ukraine. He was speaking to the first President of France. Germany, America, France and Ukraine all knew that this meeting was coming. Coming home, uh, he said that Israel will do what they can, even if there's just a small light of hope for peace, Israel is obligated to try and do what they can. Before the war even started, the president of Ukraine had asked Naftali Bennett if Israel could host a summit with Russia and Putin to try and prevent the invasion at all. So uh, yeah, all of a sudden little Israel is playing a big part in all of this. Last night Israel was uh, attacking in Syria. A couple of days ago a big cargo plane came in from uh, Iran and whenever that happens we know that weapons and, and things are coming in um, to Iranian-backed militia in Syria who has one goal and that is to try one day to attack Israel. So Israel is doing what they need to do to keep their border safe and that is happening with the knowledge of Putin and Russia who is uh, heavily involved in Syria. Yesterday morning we woke up to another terror attack here in Jerusalem. Two border police officers were injured when a Palestinian terrorist attacked them with a knife down in the old city of Jerusalem. So there's always a lot going on in this country and that's why I keep saying we need all of you wonderful people around the world who are standing in the gap for Israel for such a time as this. Everything is getting more and more hectic in the world. In the midst of all of this, I'm always praying, opening my Bible and saying, God, you are my compass. Give me wisdom and knowledge how to move forward, what to do and not to do and what to say and not to say. And I'm always saying, you know, God keeps telling me, stay in your lane, stay in your lane, stay in your lane and do what I have called you to do because it's so easy to get distracted in these days. So that was just the latest news. Uh, I'm back blogging for Jerusalem Post. The Prime Minister of Israel went to Russia meeting with uh, Vladimir Putin. Then he went to Germany. He's back now. Uh, Israel is seeing a huge influx of people coming home. 
uh, because of this war, coming back, settling, fleeing uh, out of Ukraine, coming back home to their God-given homeland. So it's a very, very busy time for the Israeli authorities. So thank you for standing with Israel for such a time as this. I have about three weeks left, then I need to move out of this rental apartment. I'm still looking for housing. If you have any leads, drop me a line. But God bless you so much and keep praying for this country, for protection for Israel, because the enemies of Israel, they never sleep. But God will always be the defender of his nation and for his people for such a time as this. God bless you, everybody. Bye.